Over 30 years ago, a German physician, Dr. Hans Naper, faced with the problems that are still unresolved by mainstream medicine today, looked to nature to find a way that would deal with all and any type of inflammation. Inflammation is anything in the body that should not be there. Any, non-living tissue. And quite simply, this is just about anything that causes pain. Blockages, such as in the head or chest from mucus, like catarrh, sinus or bronchial problems, asthma, emphysema, or industrially induced problems including asbestosis. Things like blood clots, prostate problems, arthritis, ulcers and a mass of other problems that your doctor will tell you cannot be helped are all caused by inflammation. Serapeptase is the enzyme that the silkworm uses to dissolve its cocoon. Dr. Naper realized that if the silkworm, when it turns from being the worm into a moth, and it does so in a very short time, must have something that dissolves, non-living tissue, because the cocoon is a hard structure of dead tissue. Dr. Naper separated the enzyme out, gave it to his patients and achieved staggering results, very quickly. He gave it to one patient due for amputation of a hand because of a blocked artery. It cleared the blockage and the man kept his hand. He also reported that serapeptase dissolved blood clots and caused varicose veins to shrink or diminish. To achieve the huge amount required in the world today, serapeptase is now naturally processed commercially through fermentation. Histological studies have revealed powerful anti-inflammatory effects of this naturally occurring enzyme. Known possible benefits may be the resolving of pain, dealing with lung problems, eye problems, ent problems, ear nose throat, trauma, inflammation of any kind, cardiovascular difficulties and very importantly, arthritis. In 25 years of being prescribed by German doctors, no harmful side effects have been reported. Serapeptase can, and does, resolve many problems that doctors tell us are insoluble. However, we need to remember that many of the problems we experience with our health are often closely tied to our diet. If we eat junk food, we will get junk health. When shopping in the supermarket, look at the labels. How many e-numbers or things that are clearly not proper, natural food are there in the packet? Also, anything that is in the form of so-called, sugar-free, invariably contains aspartame and other things which are detrimental to our health. So, try to keep to a good diet. Alternative remedies, many of which have stood the test of time, in some cases many hundreds of years, finally offer hope to a lot of people. Serapeptase is a recent addition to the list, being discovered only 35 or so years ago. But it is one that works for many people.